Here we are. Here we are. Back Hi. again. Back again for another episode with Jaylon and Tori. Okay. Did you like that? No. I didn't think so. <laughs> the way you ask me, like, did you like that? Would you? Did you like that? I like everything you do. You're a liar. All right. So instead of am I the asshole, I found a related subreddit What's called th- Cheating Stories. Oh, these motherfuckers. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Yep. Let's do it. You cheating bastards out so there. So <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> we want to take a little break from all the heavy do you have Patreon shout outs? Yes, we just got a few new patrons. So, so but first and foremost, we want to thank the patrons and our new patrons for being here. We have Lucy H, Connie, Jaina, and Amanda and Diana. Thank you so much. Thank you guys. For being a part of the community. We appreciate y'all. We really do. Thank you so much here. for supporting. You guys it, keep the show going. And we don't know what we would do without you. Absolutely. So we wanted to cut the uh, heavy. Yeah, I'm tired of the heavy. I need some. We need a little bit of a break, a little bit of a, wow, that person's life is a little bit worse than ours. (laughs) (laughs) Right? Yeah. So. It's so fucked up, Tori. I, I mean, not we're not trying to bask in people's. I mean, we're gonna gossip a little bit. Yeah, That's let's what we're gossip. Do. We're gonna be a little, a little bit of gossip, bitches, right now. Um, so I found this subreddit called Cheating Stories, and we're gonna talk about them. Let's do That's it. That's really it. I like it. So, cheating bastards. Did I do that one? right? Cheating bastards. That's right. <laughs> That's maybe what this episode is going to be called. Cheating Cheatin bastards. bastards. <laughs> um, let's see. Okay. So, run of the mill. Wife cheated and I found out. Been married for 10 years and I found out recently that my wife had sexted with her ex five years ago to include sending photos. This has destroyed my confidence in myself and the marriage. We've been through couples therapy, but I'm struggling to keep the negative thoughts out of my head to help with the healing process. She claims it had nothing to do with me and it's her own fault. She wants to prove that it'll never happen again and that I'm the only one for her. We currently have two kids and one of them was three at the time this at the time that this took place. I can't help but feel like I'm the issue for not being able to get over this sexting incident. Just curious what the wisdom of the internet has for me. Does it ever get better? Hmm. All right. So maybe we're not getting away from the heavy, but still. <laughs> um, I think these are good topics because this is, it's crazy how prevalent cheating is in relationships. It's scary. Yeah. It's very common. Do you have trust issues? Mm-mm. I do. Why? Because almost every single relationship that I've been in, the person did something untrustworthy. And I'm not sitting here and saying that I didn't do things untrustworthy. Like you have you cheated? I've never cheated. No. Well, was it? I mean, no, I'd like to believe that I did the right thing in my situation. I met a person while I was in a relationship and cheating (laughs) the way you're You're cheating bastard cheating bitch (laughs) (laughs) Uh, well i met a person while i was in a relationship very quickly into knowing the person meeting the person i realized i had feelings and was attracted to them more than i should be like i shouldn't be attracted to this person the way that i am if i'm in a happy relationship and then I ended the relationship that I was in. To be with that person that you were having feelings for. Essentially, yeah. Well, that's fucked up. <laughs> Don't ever do that shit to me. I will literally. I would never. Literally. I was the, the first relationship that I was in. I don't want to say I was unhappy in it, but I, I, 
I still talk to this ex to this day. We were just never meant to be romantic with one another, me and this ex. We were always supposed to just be friends. Yeah. And I wasn't romantically in it the way that I should have been. You know right, I mean? but you were in it, so it doesn't make a difference. Right, right, but I'm saying that scenario would never happen between you and I. It Be- better not, because it I will literally never. It will, will never. find that bitch. I will find her, and I will not there, say what I'm going to do, there, because that's a threat. There is no her. You are her. You are the only her there will ever be. I love you. I love you. Some more. people might look at me and think that I'm toxic for feeling the way I Can feel. Can I have the for not wanting me to cheat? The fuck. Um, okay, so back to what we were. Okay, right. So I, I just want to say, yeah, that don't let that shit fucking happen. Go ahead. Okay. So, te- so what is cheating? Because I think we got to start there. Okay, what's cheating for me? Yeah. The second you have catch any type of feeling, like, f- flirting, I don't consider cheating. I think it's it's disrespectful, right? But I don't think it's cheating. But if you are doing messages with each other, and like, I don't know. I'm gonna say everything is cheating because I don't want you to do it. Any contact with, if you look at a woman, that's cheating. You're cheating. Okay. bastard well, who are you thinking about i'm thinking about I'm just kidding <laughs> if you're thinking I'm about kidding. it no in, about in, your mother, in reality that's cheating no ew. in reality i wouldn't consider flirting cheating it, like i said it's disrespectful but but if you're messaging this person and you're constantly thinking about them and you constantly like just want to talk to them for some what reason that's cheating okay because your brain is on them for a reason. Um, I would say, obviously, sex. Any sort of texting, meaning like intimate texting. I miss you. I can't wait to see you. Weird shit like that. What about emotional cheating? Where That's absolutely cheating. Yeah. I agree. Emotional, I physical, all of it. I don't want you confiding in another person in that way. And what do you mean confiding? Like you're my you're my person and i'm yours so if i'm having a bad day i i want to call you and tell you about the day that i had right if you're having a bad day or something happened i want you to call me i don't yeah. want you to have another go-to person like i'm not saying you can't go to your best friend but like you know how there's a there's a a factor of of leaning on your partner how about i put it this way yeah if there was a mass lesbian right who's interested obviously a lesbian and i'm confiding in her that's not cool because i don't trust even like with you you have a lot of femi friends but they're straight so i don't have nothing to fucking worry about but if you had some lesbian friends like that and y'all be ha ha he hee and like giddy and shit i would all eyes on you and I on her too, because there's got there. I don't trust no lesbian girl ever. Trust me, I've had my heart broken way too many times with with shit like that. I feel the same way though. I don't. Really, Do you? Yeah, I don't trust masculine lesbians. Yeah, I don't trust femme lesbians. I really don't. And I feel like for a lot of these girls, especially when you see a relationship like a happy, healthy one, they will do a lot to destroy it. Yeah, if they see, like, if if somebody sees, like, I'm treating you good, Mm -hmm. they're like, oh, I want that. I want that. Yeah. I'm going to get that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Anyway. But yeah, that's what I think. Okay, so that's what we've constituted as is cheating Mm -hmm. in a relationship. Um, Obviously, sexting is cheating. Absolutely. You're not sending anybody. So his wife got caught sexting yeah five years ago with her she was sexting with her ex first of all here's my here's my fucking pet peeve right here why are you getting into a new relationship if you're not fucking over your ex right 
Like, what is with people who do that? That's such a lesbian thing to do, too. <laughs> like, is that? Yeah. I'm going to start this whole brand new relationship, but I'm still going to send my titties to my ex. Mm. What? Well, we don't know the context of it. Like, 